Hello everyone, welcome back. And before we dive into the practical aspects of Python and data manipulation, let us understand the central role, the key role that statistics plays in this exciting field. Now, let us talk about the power of data. Well, data is all around us. It is the lifeblood of the digital age. Generated by everything from smartphones and social media to scientific experiments and business transactions. But raw data on its own is like a, it's like a puzzle with some missing pieces. It holds the potential to reveal valuable insights, but those insights are often hidden beneath layers of noise and chaos. Well, this is where statistics comes into play. Now, Statistics is the art and science of collecting, organizing, analyzing, interpreting, and then presenting the data. It is the key that unlocks the secrets hidden within numbers, allowing us to make informed decisions, identify trends, and draw meaningful conclusions. So what you can essentially say is that statistics is like, it's like the data detective. Imagine you are a detective investigating a complex case. Now, the evidence is absolutely scattered and you need to piece it together to uncover the truth. In the world of uh, data analysis, statistics is your trusty sidekick, helping you gather and interpret evidence to solve the mysteries that data presents. And here is how statistics serves as your data detective. So firstly, let's talk about data collection. Statistics helps you design surveys, um, experiments, and data collection methods to gather relevant information. It ensures that your data is uh, accurate, it is representative, and it is absolutely unbiased. Next, uh, we have data cleaning. So, raw data is often messy. Uh, it has missing values, uh, you know, outliers, and a lot of inconsistencies. So, statistics equips you with techniques to clean and pre-process the data, making it ready for analysis. Now, let us talk about data summarization. So, before diving into complex analysis, statistics provides tools for summarizing the data. Yes, uh, measures like mean, median, uh, standard deviation, they help you understand the data's central tendencies and the variability. Next up, we have data visualization. Statistics introduces you to the art of data visualization. With the charts and graphs and plots, you can just, you know, absolutely transform numbers into beautiful visual stories that are quite easy to grasp and understand. These, uh, you know, visualization reveals patterns and trends which may remain hidden in raw data. Next, we have inference. Statistics allows you to make inferences about uh, populations based on samples. And this is crucial when you want to draw conclusions about a larger group without surveying every member. Next is hypothesis testing. Suppose you have a, a hypothesis or a theory then statistics provides rigorous methods for testing your ideas and determining whether the evidence supports or whether the evidence contradicts them. Now let's dive into prediction. Through statistical modeling, you can build predictive models that forecast future trends or outcomes based on historical data. And this is invaluable in fields like finance, marketing and healthcare. So it plays a very crucial role. And uh, then we have decision making. Okay. Uh, in business, statistics guides decision makers by providing insights into customer behavior, market trends, and uh, the product performance. So it helps allocate resources very wisely and minimizes the risks associated with it. And finally, we have quality control. Um, in manufacturing and industry, statistics plays a critical role in quality control. It ensures the products uh, meet the standards and it helps identify defects early in the 
production process. So again, that is a very valuable advantage that we have. Well, to sum it up, statistics is the backbone of data analysis. It is the very tool that transforms raw data into actionable insights, helping us make some informed decisions, solve some complicated problems, and understand the world around us.